Hi everyone, Ricardo here with Sparkbox. If you're a developer, especially one on a team, you already know the importance of good documentation. There are a number of good resources and tools out there for creating good documentation. The two most common resources are storing markdown files within your project's code. The second, if you're using GitHub, is storing it in GitHub wikis. Today I want to show you one solution that keeps your software's documentation inside GitHub wikis, but allows for the review process via pull requests. This solution involves CircleCI and an additional repository. Let's begin by taking a look at an example project, Sparkbox Pokédex. For this use case, I want to take note that the introduction to the project is in the readme and the developer documentation is in the wiki. Let's pretend we're working on a large team and want to implement a strategy to require pull requests to any changes to the wiki. First, we want to navigate to our project's wiki page, and at the bottom right, we're given an option to clone locally. Let's copy it, and then clone it locally. Then let's rename it to something we can remember. I like to name mine, the name of the project, followed by dash wiki. Our next step is to create a new repository and rename it the same thing we renamed before. And then copy the origin. And we'll use it to replace the original origin. If you haven't yet, go to circleci.com slash sign up and create an account on CircleCI. We're going to need it later. In the root of our project, we need to create a .circleci directory and a config.yaml file. We need to give it a version number and a description. At the time of this video, the most up-to-date version of CircleCI is 2.1. Next, we'll create a jobs section with a build job, which is required by CircleCI. We'll tell CircleCI that we're using the CircleCI node Docker image. Next, we'll write out the steps for our project, beginning with the built-in step checkout, which checks out the source code. We'll then run some command, which we'll call push wiki to project wiki. We'll need to tell GitHub who we are and utilize environment variables inside CircleCI. We'll fill in our email and username. We won't want to push our changes to our new repo, but to the original wiki. So we'll remove the origin and replace it with the original wiki origin that we had from before. Notice after remote add origin, we have an environment variable called GitHub API key. We'll be setting that later in CircleCI. After github.com, we have our GitHub username. Finally, we have the ending of our original wiki, not the wiki we just created. The final portion of the line ensure that Secrets never show up in our build log. We don't want our new branches to be pushed up. Instead, we want to wait for a review and for them to be merged in to our main default branch. So we'll set up a workflow. We'll give it a main workflow that filters out branches and only runs on our main default branch. Let's add, commit, and push our changes. Now let's set up our project in circleci.com by going to our apps, viewing our projects in the add projects button, 
finding our project and hitting set up project. We can either add the configuration given to us or add manually. We previously set up our configuration, so we want to select add manually. Let's select start building. This build will fail because we don't have any environment variables set up, but that's okay. In order to set up our environment variables, first we need to go to project settings and then environment variables. The environment variables we need are GitHub email address, GitHub username, and GitHub API key. Our GitHub email will be whatever email we used in our GitHub account. The same is true with our GitHub name. For our GitHub API key, we need to hop over to GitHub and create a personal access token. In GitHub, go to Settings, Developer Settings, Personal Access Token, and generate a new token. Give it a name and select either Repo if it's a private repo or Public Repo if it's a public repo. Ours is public, so we'll generate our token, copy our token, and assign it the GitHub API key variable that we called within our CircleCI configuration. To see if our changes worked, we can click on the main workflow and rerun from start. With the environment variables set, our configuration correctly runs now. Now let's see if pull requests actually change our original project's wiki. I've created a pull request that adds a picture of Pikachu to the documentation. Once our pull request is merged, CircleCI will do its thing and push our changes to the wiki. If we refresh the page, we can see we successfully added the image to the wiki. As we've seen, it's pretty easy to use CircleCI to help us eliminate some of the downsides of using GitHub wikis for team documentation. I hope you find this useful and that you can use this on your team's next project.